For the moment you've all been waiting for, the single sacred shard I'm pulling in this video. Welcome back to LDB Games. I'm Lord Darth Balls, and in this video I'm pulling some shards. Uh, before we get into that, there is an account giveaway that I'm doing that has a ninja on it. So if you want a free ninja, I'm going to pin to that video up top and I'll put it down in the description below. I will be uh, drawing for the results Sunday morning Eastern Standard Time and releasing the video Monday morning Eastern Standard Time announcing the winner. So if you want to get involved, head on over to that video and find out what you need to do. Also... I, um, being that I'm in the process of selling my home in New York and purchasing a home in Chicago and moving halfway across the country, I've been taking a really close look at my finances. And uh, I decided to go back to the beginning of my time playing Raid, and uh, I found some interesting results. So, two things on that. If you're interested in seeing a video where I break down every dollar I've spent in this game, or if you're interested in seeing a video where I figure out a budget for myself for this game. I think I need to budget myself because my spending is very inconsistent and I tend to do it a lot at a time and then there will be some gaps at this point at least. Um, so I, I'm thinking I need a budget for myself. So if you're interested in seeing a video where I define a raid monthly budget, comment or you just want to see me break down my finances in, in raid, in terms of raid, uh, comment down below uh, and I'll get that put together for y'all. So now we're here for the show, right? I have 13 voids, and I gotta be honest, I, I put out a video last week uh, for reasons why you should fuse and go for this fusion, um, but the the announcement uh, yesterday, was it yesterday? I don't know, when the calendar was released, um, I, I began to question my own judgment. Uh, there are now two summon rushes, so I was reserving my opinion until the first one dropped, because there is... There will be 115 fragments to be obtained in this fusion, which means you can skip 15. So the first summon rush popped, and it's 5 and 15. So I'm going to plan as if I am going for this fusion, I, because mainly because I'm going to be doing these things in the game anyway, and what's the point, you know, what's the downside of having a goal to shoot for with each kind of event or... Uh, area of the dungeon so so I am going to be going for this fusion at least for now um, but for this summon rush I am not going to be going for the 15 fragments I will be going for the five which needs 2150 so I'm going to pull all of my voids 13 of them at 120 a pot comes out to 1560 points so I am going to pop a sacred uh, and then I'm probably just going to uh, bridge the gap with mystery shards not in this video because let's be honest nobody wants to see that <laughs> um, but there is a two times void going on right now and i'm getting close kind of relatively close to mercy um i have a demitha so i'm not really too miffed about that um but she is a, a, an, an incredible champion for those that are going for her um I'm, i've been it's on my list of things to do to build the myth air, and I guess I should now because uh, a whole bunch of people are going to get her. Um, but you'll notice I actually got really lucky with Clan Boss this last week, and I got my monthly shard, and I finished the hard Doom Tower, so I have 12 sacred shards. So even using one today is not going to hurt me for uh, next weekend, and I'm, I'm hoping they stick to the schedule. Oh no, sacreds won't be next. Damn. We'll see what happens next weekend. Um, but I'm not too crazy about the times 10 champions. Um... Actually, the only one I don't have is Withier. And Trump, Trump, Trumbor? Trumbor. Yeah, but I don't really need Trumbor. And Withier could be pretty helpful in Tag Team Arena. She's, like, really difficult to, to kill. Um, I do have two Hanarok, and I love her. Um, I think I wouldn't mind a second one. But it's been 138 shards, at least, since my last Void Legendary. Uh, not 100% on that number, because I don't use RSL Helper. Uh, but this, if I don't pull one, this will put me up to 150. So my plan is to save 70 shards before my next void pull. I guess if I don't pull a, a legendary. Uh, anyway, let's let's get into it. Enough talking. Let's get into the shard pulls, huh? What a surprise. We are opening with blue. I am going to be doing single pops for all these because it's only 13. I mean, where's the fun in, where's the fun in that? Uh, but the downside is that with voids, just like with ancients, 
Uh, you get you get way more blues than any other champion. Uh, but I guess I can't complain because, in at least in my, the state of my account, three stars are the beginning of champion training events for me. I don't. I actually feed all ones and two stars now. Uh, I start at three stars because I pull so many goddamn champions, um, and it ends up being a, a really good return on uh, on point value. Six left. Not even in epic. This game it does me dirty for void shards. Although, in fairness, I have had some really good void pulls in the past. It's just been a really long time since I've gotten... Alright, an epic. Okay, there's the times 10. Inquisitor's a really cool champion. Um, he's got an incredible kit for Hydra. Um, and he's actually... He can do a pretty solid amount of damage. He doesn't come into my everyday team anymore. Um... Yeah, whenever an ally receives a fear or a true fear debuff, skill instantly removes the debuff, fills the allies by Terminator, but it's actually the leader, uh, the champion in the leader spot. I think it's an error in the code. Um, and then he attacks them. Every time an enemy places a debuff on an ally, he uses this skill. So not just the fears, but the true fears. Cleanses the fears and true fears, and then whether it's a fear, true fear, or any other debuff in the game, he counterattacks. Uh, the downside is it can't be critical, and it only deals half damage, but it compounds and does a lot of damage over time. Uh, and then this hit is a monster hit. It's a triple hit, ignores 25% of the target's defense, and then ignores a further 25% for each buff on this champion. So if he has three buffs, he's dealing... Uh, he's ignoring 100% of defense, uh, which is pretty... Pretty insane. Um, I'm still trying to figure out a way to get him into like an everyday auto team. Um, if that's something you guys are interested, comment down below and I'll, I'll put that on the fast track on my priority list. See, if, We'll see if I can get to it. Another blue? Come on. I wonder if there's a legendary sitting in these last three. We're coming up on 150 shards at least because I, I don't think I have record of a legendary void pull on my videos. Um, so it could be more, but no, wait, maybe I do. I think I pulled Bellinor on a video and that was, oh, now 151 shards ago. So, uh, all right. Ending on an epic, at least Lou is a cool champion. I almost built her. <laughs> um, she has a decreases the target's terminator by 100%, ignores shield and block damage on a single target hit. It's a four turn cooldown, which is pretty nice. Um, and I, it's not HP, uh, max HP, um, but it's an incredible control ability. And I think her, uh, mul multipliers are pretty good. Um, and then she has a, a little heal on her A2, which is kind of nice, but it's kind of small. Um, and 50% of the damage inflicted to enemies. Oh, that's cool. Single target with some spillover, right? 50% of damage to everyone else if the attack is critical. So, not a bad champion, not really a stellar champion. Like I said, I never actually got around to uh, building and or using her. So, for the moment you've all been waiting for, the single Sacred Shard I'm pulling in this video. I actually don't know what... Did I count my Sacreds? I don't think so. I think it's it's been a little while. Let's see what happens. Okay. Rector Drath, an incredible champion. Um, she is a wild healer. So she has um, this... A, her A2 puts a perfect veil on everyone for two turns, along with... Uh, oh no, that's instead of. Um, if they're full HP after her heal, she puts a perfect veil on them. So if she goes early on in your, in your uh, team lineup and you haven't taken a hit yet, it's a guaranteed perfect veil on everyone. And then her passive is whenever they get a turn, whenever any one of your allies gets a turn and they have a veil or a perfect veil, they get a heal by 10%, uh, which is pretty incredible. Not to mention she boosts the resistance of anyone under a veil or perfect veil by 50. Combined with her Doom Tower resistance of 55, you could be getting an extra 100 resistance on your champions in Doom Tower waves or bosses with her. Um, and the Veil or Perfect Veil healing mechanic here is just incredible for uh, longer fights where you really need to keep your team alive. 
Uh, I'm wondering if um, Miracle Heal would actually be a good blessing for her. I know it's uh, it's an insignificant amount, but this heal can add up over time. Um, and she's got a decreased attack on the A1, which is kind of nice. Single target revive uh, with a perfect veil on them. So she is an incredible champion. Uh, I pulled her on one of the free-to-play accounts that I created for uh, a referral. And I pulled her early on. Yeah, I pulled her early on. And she hard carried me through quite a bit of content in the beginning of the game. So there it is, guys. Nothing crazy for my account. However, I did get a couple champions that if you don't have or you are early game, uh, you would want to invest in. And there I am, what, uh, 70, 70, 70 points away from the fragments. I may push that and just do, no, I don't want to do a thousand mystery shards. That's such a time sink. <laughs> uh, but there it is guys like I said if you pull if you're fairly new to this game or you didn't have these champions and you pull them they can be really good for your account uh, maybe next time I pull some void shards we'll get gold we we'll try to make it happen uh, and as a reminder if you want to get involved in winning an account with a ninja don't forget to go to that video and find out what you got to do thanks for watching if you made it this far I appreciate the view I invite you to subscribe to my channel I'm trying to build so that I can do giveaways for you guys on a consistent basis so I can give you resources. I would love to give you guys free resources. So if you do want those and you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? I'm Lord Darth Balls. I'll catch you on the next video. Enjoy your raid.